I'm going to tell you something that may disturb you a little bit. This is a powerful revelation that if you're a baby, you'll be thrown off. I'm going to ask you a question. Are you ready for this? Yes. Does sin exist? Yes. Sin exists? Wave your hands if you believe sin exists. Wave your hands if you truly believe. Okay, if you're online, you believe sin exists, type number one. Type number one, if you believe it. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of yeses. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Who created sin? Well. You're a liar. God is not a sinner. So how can he make sin? No, you have no power to create. Satan cannot create anything. So what is sin? You think sin is what you do. Sin is a state of being. It's a condition. It's not a creation. Mm. Sin is a, is a condition. Come on. It's the condition of a soul. When it has walked away from God, not because it is something created. It's not. That is why when you, God wants you to repent, what does repent mean? Change. Change your thinking. You see, you see how difficult it was for you to digest that. That's why you have a hard time with faith. It's a state, it's a condition. Because you cannot say sin exists because it was created. God never created sin. You see it from Lucifer. He said, the Bible says this, he says, iniquity was found in you. It was found in your heart. And you sinned. But we can see what sin did. It altered his condition. Started to say, I will lift myself up. I will place my my throne in this place. And I will be like this. Notice, it was, he was, it's his condition that changed. You see, the reason why I always say these guys who preach sin, 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 sin. They go to the, the, the symptoms of the manifestation of sinning which is stealing, which is killing, which is all these things. But stopping those things is not stopping sin. That's why the Bible doesn't say sins. It says sin, singular. It's unbelief. It's a condition. Do you see how simple that is? Uh Uh-uh. Is it not simple? A hundred percent simple. Because if sin could get Satan, and Satan had no tempter, who tempted the devil? Nobody. It is a mindset he got to. (laughs) It was a condition he got to, and he destroyed him. Are you getting what I'm saying? Apostle, did it make sense? Yes, sir. Ah, This thing is easy. The thing is, you have been taught everything is difficult. You can't see clearly, so you've made everything bigger than what it is. Amen. Amen. People think the action is the sin. No, that's not actually the big problem. If you like stealing, we put you in jail. You will stop stealing because there's nothing to steal. You're in a cage. But has your condition changed? No. If your condition hasn't changed, you're still stealing. When your mind is still thinking, oh, those shoes are nice, yeah, I would love those. You are stealing. So even though we have removed you from an environment, you can steal. That's true. Inside of you, you are still, you are a murderer. Killing people, they arrest you, they throw you in jail for life. But every time you're like, ooh, that person, yeah, you look at me like that, you'll be dead right now. In your mind, you already killed them. You are doing the same thing. The only difference is you have no physical actions. But if Jesus is saying, if your man looks at a woman lustfully, he has committed adultery with her. This is some things that the devil doesn't want you to know because when you know, you'll be free from sin. You will know how to, you know how to go before God to be cured of that condition. You imagine Saul was a murderer. He meets Jesus, that condition dies. Immediately. It's easy. Why are you looking at me like that? Did I mess up? 
You're a little what? It's, it's not a big thing. Nothing is bigger than the cross. Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. When Adam and Eve ate from the tree, what changed? There's only one thing that changed. Huh? It's their mind that changed. That's the only thing that changed. Uh -uh, what, did, what changed? It was their mind that changed. And they wanted to go to the tree of life, and God refused because if they ate of it, they will remain in that condition for eternity. He said, no, I have to kill this condition. So he drove them out of the garden. So that he can fix the condition. So by the time we eat the tree of life, which is the Lord Jesus, that condition is gone. It's no longer subject to us. That condition remains in the body, not in the soul or the spirit. So if the body goes to the ground, it can be brought back, but the condition is done. So Paul says, what I want to do, I don't do. But what I do not want to do, I do. So if I continue to do what I do not want to do, then it's no longer me doing it. It is sin doing it by itself. Doing it in my body. <laughs> Can you read it for me? <laughs> Romans chapter 7, verse 14. Mm -hmm. For we know that the law is spiritual, mm -hmm. but I am carnal. No, notice that. The Ten Commandments is spiritual. It's not carnal. A carnal man can keep it. It's impossible. Impossible. You break one, you've broken all. Keep reading. Sold under sin. For that which I do, for that which I do, start I allow again, not. Start again, please. Sorry. sorry yes, sir. Start again. For we know that the law is spiritual, mm -hmm. but I am carnal, mm -hmm. sold under sin. Mm -hmm. For that which I do, I allow not. Mm -hmm. For what I would, that do I not. Mm -hmm. But that, what I hate, that I do. What I hate is what I'm doing. Keep going. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Mm -hmm. Now then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Saying it's not me doing this thing. His conscience is clear now. He has separated the withdrawals of the flesh from himself. He said I'm not my body. So if my body wants to do it, it's on, it's on its own. It's not me who is doing it. What is the power working within you? That determines the results that you buy. There are things that you want that it's not up to God to give you. It's up to you to have enough power to raid the storehouse of heaven. Absolutely. 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 It's not up to God. 